forged in secret a master ring to control all others. And into this ring, he... one by one, the free lands of Middle Earth fell to the power of the ring. But there were some, for the time will soon come when hobbits will shape the fortunes of all. There and back again. A hobbit's tale. And yes, no doubt to others our ways seem quaint. <laughs> but today of all days, it is brought home to me. It is no bad thing. The mercy of three monstrous trolls. And they were all arguing amongst themselves about how they were going to cook us. This city was once the jewel of our kingdom. A place of light and beauty and music. And so it shall be once more. Yeah! Done. It's supposed to stick it in the ground. It is in the ground. Outside. This was your idea. <laughs> They're going to the harbor beyond the White Towers. The Grey Haven. They're leaving Middle Earth. Never to return. No pauses. No spirits. And no regurgitation. <laughs> Strangers from distant lands, friends of old. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. Oi! We're coming too! Send us all tied up in a sack to stuff it. Anyway, you need people of intelligence on this sort of mission. Quest. Thank you. Well, that rules you out, eh? These are the daggers of the Noldori. They have already seen service in war. Do not fear, and what gift would a dwarf ask of the elves? Nothing. Except to look upon the lady of the Galadrim one last time. For she is more fair than all the jewels beneath the earth. <laughs> May it be a light for you in dark places. Six thousand spears. Less than half of what I'd hoped for. Six thousand will not be enough to break the lines of Mordor. You must leave. And leave quickly. Where? Where do I go? Get out of the shower. Make for the village of Bree. Bree? What about you? I'll be waiting for you. At the inn of the Prancing Pony. I must see the head of my order. He is both wise and powerful. Trust me, Frodo. You'll know what to do. <laughs> 